Bienvenidos, welcome to Spain on a Fork. In today's episode, we're possibly making one of the simplest recipes we've ever done here on the show, but promises to be one of the best things you will ever taste, guys. We're talking a spinach omelet with cheese. This is the ultimate breakfast omelet, loaded with so many different textures and flavors. It's made with the most basic ingredients, and it comes together in just 10 minutes, guys. This is what amazing food is all about. Minimal ingredients, easy to make. Let's dive right in. All right, we're gonna get started by getting all our ingredients ready. I'm gonna grab three large cloves of garlic. As you guys know, I always like to twist the cloves of garlic as the skin is easily removed. And finally, mince the three cloves of garlic. Then I'm gonna grab half of a medium-sized onion and finely dice it. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna reserve two cups of fresh spinach. This is bag spinach. Like I always tell you guys, I love this stuff. Pre-cleaned and pre-cut. If you prefer, you can use frozen spinach here. They sell them in the 10 ounce blocks. Just de-thaw it out and make sure you drain it well and use half of it for this recipe. And for the last ingredient to prepare, I'm gonna crack three large organic cage free eggs into a bowl, season them with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna whisk the eggs together until they're perfectly combined. Okay, we have all our ingredients ready. Let's start cooking our omelet. I'm gonna use a large nonstick frying pan. Very important to use a nonstick frying pan here. That way the eggs don't stick to the pan. I'm gonna heat this with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Two minutes after adding the olive oil into the pan, I'm gonna add in the diced onions and the minced garlic. And start mixing the onions and the garlic around with the extra virgin olive oil. Make sure you mix this continuously. That way those garlics don't burn and everything cooks evenly. About three minutes after adding the onions and the garlic into the pan, and those onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in the two cups of fresh spinach and continue to mix this all together. Once the spinach is wilted, it's been in the pan for two minutes, I'm gonna lightly season everything with sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. I'm gonna give this a quick mix, that way all the seasonings are evenly divided. And then pour in our egg mixture into the pan, make sure you evenly divide it around the pan. And I'm just gonna get in there and give this a quick mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly divided throughout the omelet. One minute after adding the egg mixture into the pan, I'm gonna run a spatula through the outer edges of the omelet to ensure that it's not sticking to the pan. Again guys, so important, use a non-stick frying pan to make this omelet. All right, it's been two minutes since I added the egg mixture into the pan. At this point, I'm gonna add in a slice of cheese. This is Havarti cheese. You can use whichever cheese you like. And I'm gonna start folding the omelet together. I like to grab one side and fold it towards the middle. And then grab the other side and fold it to the middle as well. About 30 seconds after folding the omelet together, I'm gonna flip it to cook the other side. I'm gonna go for about another 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat, transfer the omelet into a serving dish, and garnish it with a couple slices of fresh tomato. All right, guys, our spinach omelet with cheese is done. How easy was it to put this together and how delicious did it turn out? Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. I cannot wait to try this. Here we go. 
with a sensational flavor to this omelet, guys. It is so good. Those garlics and those onions add so much depth to this uh, omelet. You know, this is not a typical omelet. This is the next level in omelets, that spinach, the cheese, the eggs, everything combined together. It's an explosion of flavors. Very healthy, easy to make, made with the most basic ingredients and it came together in just about 10 minutes. Enjoy this for a beautiful breakfast or even for dinner. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.